Well, I'm sure we're going to start off with the Grammys because that's like a no brainer. That's a big, big one. That's what everybody is talking about. Big, good and bad. Huh? Yeah, that they're closing down. That's no, a big deal. We'll give you more information. Yeah. Yeah. We won't say it on the air. Um, well, it good, the bad, and the ugly. Yeah. The Grammys. So we're going to do it the good, the bad, and the ugly? I don't know. Just it's gonna easier go just to go through. Okay, yeah. got it. Let's talk about Trevor. That was the good. I love Trevor. That was the good. Anything Trevor host is good. I like Trevor. I like him. I like he flows. He's funny. He's, he tries to crack on people, but it's so nice. They don't even know they was he's cracked He's a on. nice crack, a guy he's, that throws shade. He's a nice guy that throws shade. like, he just threw shade. <laughs> he, th- he did the same type of Taylor joke with the NFL. He but sure she did. laughed at this one. She didn't laugh at the other she guy. She didn't laugh at the other guy. I don't think she knows him either. Well, he wasn't funny. It was His was more cruel. No, his was like a Don Rickles. Hers, uh, Trevor was more like, Taylor, don't worry about it. Relax tonight. You got your back, girl. No cameras are going to be pinning in on you like they do at the NFL. That's what he said. We're going to put them all on Terry Crews. <laughs> he, he used to football. play football. <laughs> See how you like that, Terry Crews. I like that. Cameras on you now, my brother. Yeah, I like that. That was fun. <laughs> that was cute. That was cute. But Trevor was, he, he carried the show. Yes. In spite of the ups and downs and the technical problems and the people talking over the each other and whatever. He still carried it. People and I were like that. Uh, loud and obnoxious. Yeah, it's like they had a party on the floor um, while the person's on stage. The person mm-hmm. is up there talking and they having full conversations at the table. There was one lady that came out to announce something and I, I, I kid you not, you I couldn't, couldn't hear her. her. Yeah, yeah. The audience was so loud. Um, I liked how, because um, you know I like DDG. Yeah, so, so I, I noticed like, you noticed him sitting next to Holly. To Holly, uh-huh. I liked how he. I saw his th- his behind the scenes stuff. So he let oh. me see what we what we saw on stage. He let us see what was going Some on in the world. More details. Yeah. Okay. So okay. I like that. Okay. I like that. I was surprised she was there. I didn't know she was nominated for. Yeah, something. she was nominated for okay. a song. Go ahead. Um. So Trevor, we like Trevor. Mm-hmm. Okay. The host. The host. Um, let's just read here. It says for the biggest night in music, the Grammy Awards consistently struggle to overcome their order or order ordinariness. In previous years, the show seemed to be on a confused search for meaning. So they saying, and I kind of agree with it. With it seemed time. like they was trying to send a message this year. What was the message? It I seemed like they was it. trying to say, don't forget about the people that paved the way. Don't forget about the the ones that came before you. Kind of similar. I didn't get that. You that, didn't get that. that? I got that on the other the Grammy before. Yeah. When the Grammy was it last year or the year before when the they had with the old when they young. had an old school and a new school on stage together. That's where I started. I would know the theme is. Don't ever forget about your the people that have paved the way and opened the right, door. Right. 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 This was the theme for this. Well, they said, they said here, they being funny, people complained that it was a concert where they just gave out awards. Because you notice it, it was more talking than it was singing this time. And a lot of the awards were mentioned on the side. Yes. And I sit there and I go, okay, someone else is going to sing. Another person is going to sing. It felt like a concert. It right. really did. Well, it says with most of the categories abandoned to an energetic but sparsely attended pre-show ceremony, the main telecast feels like a trying exhibition and a hotbed of contradictions to which the Grammys 2024 is to witness an instant insistence on fun without much actual evidence of it. Now, if he's saying this person is a Hollywood reporter, this is what I came around across with. If this is what he's saying, I kept the build up always made me feel like something was coming, and then when it came, it was a letdown. Really? Like yeah. in what way? Like they would say, "Up, oh, coming up, uh, you know, uh, uh, Burner Boy, and uh, da da da." So I think, "Oh my God, Burner Boy really gonna do? You know, he gonna jam and do or uh, Brandy or whatever." You made it. They've always built it up. My built ups. Did happen for me. Oh, okay. And here's the four that that I I enjoy. Well, maybe it, it wasn't a build up. Maybe it wasn't a build. They up didn't build it up because when Tracy Chapman came oh, out, that was it. Hands down, that was it. I was like, I ain't seen her. Well, he said here the evening began on a high note. Yes, Tracy. So I thought the whole well, evening was going to be well, like. Here's this. my other moments throughout were later on because the Tracy. Yes, it was hard to top that. I was happy Celine Dion came out. 
I was like, oh, she's doing better. Yeah, but then when it was time... <laughs> When Taylor Swift won, you oh. act like she wasn't even on stage. Yeah, people took up for her, whether she did or not. <laughs> and number three, thanks for the award, uh, ladies. Whoever you are. Yeah. Oh, Celine. Yeah, I, I remember you. Even though it took everything in the world for you to come out on stage, I don't. I bl- I don't think Taylor's a bad person. I right. think she, I talked it she up was to her. So in the moment, but that was horrible because that passed her number thirteen, as she said, as her. Lucky I know, number. but that was horrible. It was I know. Celine a lot Dion. of people said that. A lot of the woman said. could barely speak two weeks ago, and she's giving you an award. You're right. Was she ignoring her? Yeah, she, she her just time. She took the award and, and was and like, I, "See I, you I, later." I, but this, but the sad thing about it, that moment, she was grabbing everybody that was not even a singer yeah. on that stage. Yeah. Oh, you, you. Come up, come up, you, come up. You. Yeah. I get it, I get but it. But I think they thought the reason why they brought Celine Dion out there, and this what they knew Taylor was going to win, and she always act like she ain't going to win, but she always knows she's going to exactly. win. Exactly. Because they probably felt this was going to be a monumental moment, and I think Taylor blew it. Yeah, yeah. She because did. this the fact that Celine Dion gave her the award, they probably wanted some kind of um interaction there. And she didn't give it to him. Mm-mm. So that was a letdown. Like well, the whole what? evening was a letdown. I'm laughing. Well, my third point was Billy Joe. Billy Joe was good. I was I was saddened that he hadn't been doing anything for 30 years. I like Billy Joe. I love Billy and Joe. And when he I was nervous. About the new song. Yes. And I was like, because most new songs, like Earth, Wind, and Fire has a new song. And I'm like, really? It ain't like sing a song and sell it, you know, September. But Billy Joe got on that piano and started singing. I went, oh, yes. I missed you. And that's why I, I felt like, oh, yeah. that was a moment for and me. And he closed the show out, which was good. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So those were my three big moments in the show. Tracy Chapman. What was Tracy one? Chapman, Celine Dion coming out and her health issues. Yeah. I should say four. I'm sorry. Um, uh, Billy Joel mm-hmm. and uh, Joni uh, Mitchell. No, I, they no, no. The reason why I say that, <laughs> the reason why I say that, she's gone through a lot of health I problems. Know, but she's I, never that entertained was, on that I stage. Know, I know, I know. But, and for her to be able to sing again, okay, here's a through her strokes and all of that. I'm it. like, okay, because she's won awards. I got it. She's just never sang on the Can stage. Can we compromise? She didn't have to do 10 stanzas of that song. It don't matter. I Just re- sing a little okay. bit and get out of there. I'm not trying to be mean. <laughs> I'd rather have heard her than Stevie. Stevie, that's the other one. Was like, well, Stevie, Stevie been, he been singing off. Does does not anyone tap him on the shoulder and say, man, you went flat. No. Man, you went flat. No, he did not. Lift your anymore. notes up. Get to that key. Stevie, you got a good ear. Yeah. And when do you stop singing as an as a entertainer? Patty LaBelle still hits those notes. I think he can still sing. He just needs to stop doing those notes. Aretha Franklin was cracking. She cracked on the uh, the the Capitol when she was singing for Obama. Yeah. I don't think I think Stevie can still sing. Just oh yeah, he can sing, but he went flat. Quit trying to sing like old Stevie. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Trying to do a lot of riffs, and then he trying to sing with um what's his name that passed away. Yes, Tony he Bennett. did good. Now Tony Bennett did good. For once, once in my life, life I have. And he's singing, and, and Tony Bennett, sing. Tony Bennett singing all key. He's singing with and na 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 na. Even though he's passed away, yeah, na na na. And then Stevie. I was like, Stevie, stop. Stop. And then back to, uh, uh, what's his name? Oh, oh once like I say, life. this is all you can take. <laughs> well, guess I know Stevie. Stevie, go ahead and bring us home. <laughs> I'm like, oh, God. Now, he did do good at the end when he blended with Tony Bennett. <laughs> but once in my life. Go up the yes. like he used to. <laughs> but he, he blended good at the end. Okay. He that's blended saved good. Him. That's that saved, saved him at the end. Okay, but go ahead. You, yeah, you that started. one, that one you're right. But um But you said build ups as far as the other artists. Be, I didn't on. like the now some people like the memory thing. I didn't like the memory oh. thing. It was all over the place. Annie Lennox is coming out. Um uh Fantasia. Uh, John Baptiste. I was doing what this. What am I doing? What's I was going doing, on here? I was doing this. I who said, died? It's not flowing. And I saw the names and I went, who? Hey, he died too. 
But I'm looking at I'm not looking at you. I'm looking at the, the heavy lady singing gospel music. I'm and doing thank you from the from the um a black as long sounds as of black I'm like your head, head to the sky. And she didn't do anything. I'm like, okay. He kept John Baptiste kept looking at her like, go take it. Come she on. was like, oh, 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 oh. He wanted her to ad lib. He wanted her to ad lib. As long as you keep your head to uh, the sky. Did they not rehearse? You can win. Did they not? And I how are you know. winning? You're dead. Oh, Lord. Why are you singing that song? I don't know. You can win. Maybe they're talking as to long as you can. No, they're talking to us. Not the We're going to die away. just like them. You can win as long as you keep your What does that song have to do with anything? Look, I'm just trying to fit it in somewhere. There's a million <sighs> gospel songs you could sing. That's the that act. can be about uh, on in the next life uh -huh. or living your best life till you get to the next life. But as you can win as long as you keep your they head to the done, sky. Um, Jill Scott, living my life like it's golden, living my life uh -huh. like it's golden. I don't know. But my one no, no living. Okay, no word living with the to word live again. living Our in cousin. it. Living to live again. Well, live again. But but nothing about living, and you showing a bunch of dead people behind. But the you. only the main suggestion. Oh, go well. While we're still on this, you still on this? Go ahead, yeah. I found out a little tad bit nugget. What? And I don't know if it's true or not. So this is allegedly. Beyonce was supposed to do Tina Turner. I told you. But why did? Because when we was watching it, I said, I love Fantasia. Okay, I got I don't think so. Because that means that Oprah wouldn't have been there. Hold whole, on for a that second. That whole big hoopla. Wait a minute, buddy. Oprah was there to introduce them. Okay, now, listen to this, and then you'll change the story. Okay. Now, when we get ready to talk about Jay-Z and that whole big ocean angle. I know. Um, Beyonce, first of all, she should have been nominated for something, for God's sake. Not no Renaissance was, just, but was all no, over the news. Song. Anything she could have been nominated for. That should have been for. a Kanye moment like he did that he year. He did do Kanye. Jay-Z no, did Jay, Kanye. Jay-Z took Kanye's place because right. Kanye's show came on that stage and her thought with the, Taylor Swift. And go, Blue was like this. Like, where are you going dad, with this, daddy? Dad, what's going on? Okay, but anyway. Dad, I'm about to leave. So what happened, and I'll tell you this, and you tell me if I'm, that might be the truth. Okay. Jay-Z does a party every single year, a Grammy party. Okay. He didn't do it this year. Something is going on behind the scenes, and we don't know. Now, Diddy was supposed to be there, but they uninvited him, remember? Well, all the problems he's going through. You notice Trevor gave uh, Jay-Z that award. That was probably supposed to be P. Diddy. How much you want to bet? Who else would be able to give him an award like that? Somebody that's a billionaire, somebody that's in the music industry, somebody that's done all the things that he that Jay looks up something. to what Jay-Z is. You're that's P. Diddy. I didn't understand why Trevor gave an award yes. to Jay-Z. And the, the package that shows who Jay-Z was was short. It didn't even show nothing. It showed a few little songs that he did. It didn't really, it, they didn't, they, it's, it's almost like they was like, all right, we'll give you the award for God's sakes, but we don't want to. That's what it seemed like. And when he got up there, he made it, he made them, it everybody know. He took it this personal. is personal. You didn't, y'all didn't snub my wife. You didn't snub me. He even made a joke. This is sippy cup. They're normally for blue. I, 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 you, she has her own. Like anybody can get a Grammy. She got three of them. Is that what he meant by my that? Little, my 13 year old daughter. There was a Probably lot of she there is. were a lot. There was some shady. A shady. lot of shade Jay Z threw out, and if you if you wasn't careful to catch it, I caught it. I know. Okay. And that's why I said I bet you twenty dollars. Um, Beyonce was supposed to do that because Tina Turner is her idol. But she did her before. That's why I don't think that that part is true. Because they built it up for Oprah to be there and to introduce Tina, which is a friend of hers. That she would have been there anyway. which is one of her artists I under agree. the movie. All right. Think about it. It was all planned. I don't know. I, I just think it's some stuff going on. I think Beyonce on. was only there to support her husband. She I, probably wouldn't have come. No, no, I'm saying she that. She wouldn't have and he come. Would, and he wouldn't have come, came if he didn't do that message. None of them would have been and there. And they were late. And they left after he did that. They were late because they were looking for them on the red carpet. And Trevor, Trevor mentioned them. And they, and they the only when he was coming when he was doing this intro and um, Jay Z and them were supposed to be there. They was nowhere in sight. And when he people about showed them leaving. 
Ooh. After he finished, he took a couple of shots and then he left. And he didn't do no parties afterwards. And little Uzi, I don't even know why he was there. He left with him. Some, it was some stuff going oh. on. And little Uzi was looking mad the whole night. Really? Yes. He looked like he had like something. It was something something back behind the scenes. <laughs> Oh my! But let's God. keep talking. Go ahead. We talked about um uh rapper um uh, what's her name doing the voices the the um MC Light MC Light uh huh MC Light had on her white voice. I was listening and I said I normally hear MC Light as the announcer when they go to commercial and come back. But I said that ain't the MC Light I hear on the yeah. Uh, she all black and ghetto when she doing the BT right. awards, but, she but when she doing the Grammy awards, yeah, I like to thank everyone that had it Next up is Molly Cyrus, and I'm sitting here going, but when you on the BT awards, yeah, next up is blank, blank, and the blank, blank, blank. And you know one thing I caught with my Miley Cyrus, good for her. She, she was probably she was, she was really she was very animated. But that's how that Miley night. Cyrus is. And I know that's how she is. But I caught when they did that little that little um intro that they do on the different artists. Yes. She didn't mention Mariah Carey's name in those five, six women no, that she have didn't. that have um mentored her. And mm. when did she come up with mentioning Tina Turner? She had she ain't never mentioned no well, dang tried, like Tina well, she Turner. She tried to be Tina Turner in her song. That's why Taking she, the microphone. That's why she mentioned Tina Turner. You ain't never heard no Miley Cyrus mention no Tina Turner. But that was unfair to say all she said to Mariah. I and Mariah know. was not listed in what she said. Whitney Houston. She had like four or five women. I didn't see Mariah Carey's name in there. So they just, this little fakiness. They doing a lot of shade throwing. But go ahead. But anyway, so that, like you said, Tracy Chapman, that was, that, that was, was my kid. From that, woo, her and, and Billy Joel. Love seeing Shanae. Uh, uh, and and I mean, Celine, um, Celine Dion. Dion. Um, Annie Lennox, which we said, doing Shanae O'Connor. Nothing uh, mm -hmm. um, Now, in my opinion, they could have just kept that. What? Kept her singing her that song and showed everybody that passed away. I think they wanted to pull out the these main people. Tina Turner, Shanae O'Connor. And I agree with having something special for Tina Turner. Now, I don't know Baptiste. He just did a general one. Yeah. I mean, I would have enjoyed them. I think it was somebody else that said a year ago or last year, the Grammys also took away from the memorial. They did that again. And you got to be careful with the memorial because that's a moment of remembering um, the legends that have gone through. Yes. And when you are loud and you're doing something that's getting people's attention, that to me, to, back in the day, yeah. it was a quiet moment. It was the a person, moment to reflect. The person would sing something that's very common. Yeah. Or, and, you, and, then they'll, and then they'll pause yeah. and they'll show faces. Yeah. And then they'll come back to the song. I didn't know. We're competing now. I didn't know who passed away and who was I have alive. no clue. Other than Harry Belafonte, who they showed at the beginning. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> Tina Turner. They should have had John. And Shanae O'Connor. They should have had John Baptiste do um, Dale. He would have been perfect on that. They like coming. We, we want to go, go home. home. Why they have him do gospel? I have no idea. Because he has a gospel album, I think. I don't even but know. But they should have had him. Now, if you want to do something for Harry Belafonte, have him do that. He yeah. could have did that one. He would have been perfect with that. He's from Louisiana. Save the had that accent. That yes. would have been perfect. Save the ones you want to really pull out. Um, it just didn't flow right. And it's fine with let um I think Fantasia can sing a songbook. I mean oh, a, yeah. a phone book. A phone book yeah. Fantasia can sing anything. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Yes. So that's a no brainer. And Fantasia. I was ready for her to do a medley of Tina's. Yeah. What's love got to do? Got to do Fantasia's not known for dancing. I'm your private dancer. Yeah. Dance for money. Come on. With her soulful voice. Oh, forget it. But yet they got her up there. Big wheels keep on turning. <laughs> Oh my God! Yeah, she, she did, did good. good. She's gonna do good in anything she sings. Right, so, but go ahead. But that's you know whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, I liked how they had, and I did like how they had when the guy that's the president of the Grammys mm -hmm. and the people playing the instruments were from Pat, um, from um, a Palestinian and um, um, Israel, Israel, Israeli. Oh. I like that. that was they nice. was trying to show coming together and music yeah. can bring people together. Oh, this together. was about unity. Music bringing, bringing people, people together. So I did like that yeah. moment. So that was the theme, I think. Um, another They said another um, heartfelt moment. Um, the loosely theme of the women. 
was winning everything. Mostly women was winning women. everything. He did say that at the beginning, Trevor. The dominance of the female artist was reflected. Now, we briefly mentioned Victoria Monet took home the award for best artist. Mm -hmm. um, first of all, most people don't even know who she is. I don't know who she Second is. Second of all, um, okay, but she's not a new artist. Okay. She's somebody who's been in the industry and she has been writing for everyone. So is this new artist as a singer? Because she came out. Okay. But my thing is, give it to somebody who's a real true artist. Like somebody who hasn't been in the industry for a long time. Yeah. And they literally just exploded. Now, does that mean that's Ice Spice? Probably yes. Because well, Ice Spice, whether you like her or not, I'm so sick of seeing Ice Spice. It's ridiculous. She did a song with Nicki Minaj, the Barbie mm -hmm. song. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the number one movies in the country. Her sound, her song is the main song. Why would she not win Song of the Year? I mean, or um, new, uh, new artist, artist of the year. Used to say that Jay Z was hinting towards that when he was saying people are not in the right categories or they're winning, winning. My, you know, my wife has won so and so and so and so and have never won the Song of the Year or Album of the Year. Um, a lot of people thought SZA should have got Album of the Year I over Taylor Swift. I listen. I told my sister, I'm learning these artists. I didn't. I for some reason I thought SZA was a rapper. No. And when I heard her little story, how yeah. they led into her little story and had her mom and dad out there, I said I like her. She they said, said I like her voice. They said her song stayed on the chart longer than Taylor mm -hmm. Swift songs. Well, so they said even the um, actual album was put together well. Mm -hmm. They felt like SZA should have got that probably. And you got to remember, like you told me, the cat and I don't know. I didn't listen to her. Or Taylor Swift or any of their albums, so I don't know. The Academy of Grammys, it's like the Academy of Movies, is all like a small little family, a clique. Right. Like people may get up, you know, upset. Like you guys have your own mindset. If yes. you like you, if you like us, if you don't, you know, I don't know. And uh, Miley Cyrus won. They said mm -hmm. they don't think she should have won for pop solo. Really? But I felt like they gave that to her because they've been. She been wanting wanting a, a a Grammy, okay. so they finally gave it to her. Okay. Um, Billie Eilish won. I like the. I mean, uh, performed. I think she her won and her too. brother. I, I always like Billie Eilish. I like the the um the dynamics of their yeah. their their. Music. So I do like Billie Eilish. Mm -hmm. I always did like and her. She did good on her song. Yeah, doing it live. Um, let's see. Um, here they go with Jay Z. The uh, Dr. Dre. We said that the award name is ridiculous. I don't even know why they named that award, <clears throat> Dr. Dre. Or the Dre, whatever they call it. Impact them. Achievement Award named after Dr. Dre. Impact Achievement. That's the first Once person. Dr. Dre uh, uh, punched women and punched this one woman, <laughs> that don't matter. no award should ever be given to him. Look at Comb Over. I like Dr. Oh, Dre. I love Dr. Women. Dre, but he's not. He's to me. He's like Snoop Dogg. Who you think you make? I don't name an award after them. Who I like they them. Have I think that they, award after. <sighs> Should it have been Jay Z? No, no, no. I don't know. Cause I, we have to look at the criteria of that award. If it's rap, businessman, impact, producer, ach impact, achievement, writers, they've done everything under the umbrella, and it's mainly in hip hop. I don't know. What is the what is this this What's category about? Yeah, what yeah. is this category about? Um, let's see. Um, they talked about how he, when he got up there, JC, he accepted the prize with his daughter standing by his side. Um, he talked about, like you said, the snubs. Some people feel like they were snubbed. Mm -hmm. And then he said, some people, you were. Yeah. And then, um, you he were said, robbed and you may be robbed when you leave. You may be robbed. <laughs> they thought that was funny. That was funny. Because they're in LA. Yeah. And everybody getting robbed in LA. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So not only you getting robbed in here, but when you leave out the building, you'll you probably get robbed. robbed. <laughs> So he was cracking he on L.A. Wrong. He and wrong. he's from New York. So, you know, people in L.A. probably didn't like that. What are you trying to say, New York? He's trying to crack on us? So that people <laughs> didn't like that. If he was in Chicago, he could really get away with um, that. <laughs> and then some people took offense. And then some people agreed mm -hmm. when he talked about, he didn't say Beyonce, but that's what he was talking mm -hmm. about. I she could, about how she you was can have. Well, you know, she hates that. She doesn't like I that. I thought she felt, I, it seemed like she was uncomfortable. She was. When he was talking. That's probably why they left afterwards. Mm -hmm. that Beyonce doesn't like that. Mm -mm. Because it makes her seem like she's desperate. Yeah, and that's my spokesperson. Yeah, for like I really want a Grammy uh, the Grammy record of the year so bad. I mean, um, album of the year so bad that, I, and she probably like, I didn't tell him to say that. No. 
It's like another what? Well, I don't know. Will Smith and Jada, man, that's different. No, that's different. Mm -hmm. But um, some people saw his point and some people didn't. It To me, it depends on how he meant it. If he meant, how can you give somebody 32 Grammys in, or not 32, but Grammys in one year that they win everything and they don't win album of the year? If he meant it that way, I agree. Mm -hmm. How do I get song of the year, right? You know, writer, uh, producer, whatever, artist, best uh, uh, singer, whatever, mm -hmm. and then I don't get album? That doesn't make sense. Okay. But if he's talking about throughout her career, just because you win thirty two Grammys, it doesn't mean you had the best album that year. Yeah. yeah. And I and I equate that to this in the NBA. Michael Jordan um, and the Bulls dominated. That doesn't take away Charles Barkley, right. Isaiah Thomas, um, they can uh, break, Malone. You, you mentioned of like a they break in their own records. You, you mentioned that in all in all of the levels of sports, football, basketball, yeah. baseball, they can break records within the team, but their team may not ever wear, win a, may a, not a win. championship. So, album of the yeah. year is a team thing. Yeah. It's the whole team. It's not just the artist. It's everything. Mm -hmm. So they said that the only year they that people was arguing back and forth and Beyonce doesn't have good albums. She has good songs. She has good this and that. But they were people were arguing back and forth and said that's not true. Because the one year where she actually had a good album, the which lemonade? was Lemonade, mm -hmm. she lost to Adele. And they felt like Adele's album wasn't good. It was her song that we was playing, that one song that everybody was playing, mm -hmm. not the whole album. Mm -hmm. And that is true. Mm -hmm. Because to me, look even from the past, there is no, um, uh, there, there is nothing that Adele's album did that was memorable mm -hmm. to make you go, oh yeah, I remember that album Adele did. The whole, like, like Thriller. Right. Like, Thriller's or, or, like the or, album. Or Nita Baker's Rapture. Yes, or yes. Princess Purple Rain. L uh, Lauren Hill. Yes. The album. That whole not album. Not one song or two songs. Yes. But Lemonade. People remember her videos. They remember her. They remember that whole thing, that whole, her going through that. So to me, that is true. I feel like that year was her year to win. Okay. And she didn't get it. She was snubbed. So she was snubbed. Okay. Now, speaking of snubs, mm -hmm. Nicki Minaj. Now, what is this that you're hearing about her? <sighs> well, let's finish on them because I want to end do with they, Killer, do Killer they, Mike. <laughs> oh, yeah. Do they talk about the Nicki Minaj in this? No, nah, they don't talk about that. Okay. So that was it. Other than that, other than Taylor Swift winning like she always does, mm -hmm. um, to me, that was the main thing about the Grammys. Let me see if anybody else said anything before I go I to Killer. Taylor Swift feel bad about ignoring the Celine Dion. Oh, ignoring. yeah. 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 Because yeah. she's not, she don't seem like that type of person. Yeah. So I think yeah. she was just so caught up in the moment. Yeah. Um, Emerald says, hey, ladies, um, I miss Trevor being on The Daily Show. A lot of yeah. people do. Yeah. Um, Justin says, hey, everybody, I agree with Emerald. I miss him, too. If Trump gets elected, he will need him to get us through it. <laughs> or we will need him to get us through it. Um, Emerald says, hi, Justice. Most definitely, we will need to laugh through that pain. Well, y'all saw that um, Louis Farrakhan endorsed Trump. Um, he loved he he's like that he's a he's he wants him. He's like a he looks at him as a um pit bull, releasing a pit bull inside but of the that Congress pit bull chamber. Make her by him. Well, he, well, he don't care. Chance. I think he's proven to Louis Farrakhan. He don't care about us as long as you making him money. That's all he care about. Um, Justice says maybe Jay Z wasn't their first choice. Could it have been intended for Diddy? That's true. That's something to think about. And Diddy just messed it all up, so they just gave it to Jay Z real quick. That's true, because it seemed like a last minute thing. It don't did. It? it did. Kim, you even said that they his his video of what it was his accomplishments like, it was, was put a, together. Yes, here yes. throw that PowerPoint together and be ready. It might have been Diddy, y'all, because that whole, this whole past year, mm -hmm. remember Diddy was winning everything. Mm -hmm. He won one at the was it American Music Awards. He I won at where Kanye gave him the award, and then he won one where he was up there dancing. So in the it red. would make sense for him to be next, I guess. Yeah, but that's something to think about. Um, Lila says, "Hey there, tell it like it is, women. How are you today? Hey uh, there." And Emerald says, "As long as it wasn't sexy red, uh, you don't like sexy red." Yeah, she wasn't even nominated. She wasn't even nominated. Yeah. Okay. So that was the thing. The end. Oh, with Nikki, and then that goes into Killer Mike. Okay. So I think the Grammy shaded Nikki again. 
Why? What happened? And I don't even like Nicki Minaj. So, you, you know, I'm dead like honest. Her, so you a long time ago, I liked her when she first came out. But she started getting too big headed and thinking she was. She's burning big. bridges with everybody. Um, They actually posted. Uh, um, on the act, uh, the actual Grammy page, that she won a Grammy with um, Ice Spice <laughs> for Barbie. Really? Is that why Ice Spice was there though for Barbie? She was there she anyway. She had four thing. nominations. Oh, okay. So okay, but they actually tweeted it out. Said congratulations, Nicki Minaj, on your win. I wonder what happened. Twelve, and then they listed twelve nominations, one win. I think that was shade. I think it was shade. Why would they do that? And then... And that was from the Grammy team. That was from the Grammy team. And then on the the day of it, they gave the award to Killer Mike. That award that she was nominated for? That she for? was supposed to... That, that won. They, they said she won. They gave it to Killer Mike instead. And, Killer Mike won three Grammys. Yeah. One of those was possibly... Supposedly, some people think that that was the Grammy. And the sad thing with him was that a deserving. And then number two, huh? everybody keeps saying, "Well, Charlemagne keeps saying," and that's why I believe Charlemagne is part of the um, Grammys because he won't. You can't say they all secret. I think Charlemagne is part of the Grammys because okay. on the uh, Bra- Breakfast Club he was pushing t- uh, Killer Mike like he should have got it, and like he was really saying that was a good album, and everybody why was like, he be a part of the Grammys? Cause he is in the industry, isn't that the music? That's still music industry. Yeah, him being a DJ and stuff, or being on the, on that. Okay. So I think he's part of the Grammy voting. I'm talking about. Oh, okay. The vote. They don't tell you who the voters are. Okay. I'm I think he's part of the Grammy voting thing. Okay. Whoopi might even be too. They were asking her on um, her opinion on the show about. Did she take up for Killer Mike? She didn't take it for anybody. Oh, okay. But that's why I think I think um she I, just says she just says the general thing about if you don't win, that's not that doesn't mean that you're it not doesn't an mean artist anything. that's good or yep. whatever. So I think that he was taking up for Killer Mike winning. Everybody was saying Killer Mike shouldn't have won. There was uh, three other albums. She said people she she did admit people said that she shouldn't have won hers. She shouldn't have. Well, Grammy. She shouldn't have. I told you that. Well, they they uh, Michelle Obama got one too. I don't think you she do voiceover as your voice. I don't know how your voice is being used. I know they added that. Yeah. But um, yeah. So he won three. Soon as the man got off the stage, he thanked <laughs> everybody behind the scenes. <laughs> Click, ching, ching, ching. This brings me. Sonny said that they didn't have on the view. She said they didn't have to do it at that moment. This they can bring, pick and choose a time when they can when they will come to arrest you. This brings me to you always want to know who Charlemagne the God's donkey of the day is. Oh, we know it early. The 